What is going on, my YouTube brothers? Just wanted to give you a uh, update video, I guess you could call it. Show you what I've been up to. It's been about two months. And I have been ballasting the yard. So, for all you Conroe lovers out there, look at that bad boy right there. That's an Athen. Custom weathered by Jim Ranker. And a caboose. Okay, so ready? Here we go. We're going to go up and look at this end of the yard. One end is done, one end isn't. So this is basically what I've been up to. Nothing overly exciting, just ballasting. Ballasting. And uh, then putting in some ground cover. Sheets. The trees. And ground cover. 13 turnouts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tracks so far. So I've got half the yard done. My next move is to pop that engine house out of there, vacuum this all tonight, this whole area, and uh, continue my way that way, except for in front of the building. I really want to uh, do some concrete in there. And, you know, sand towers, fuel racks, what have you. Someone's coming out of the tunnel. Who loves you, right? Once again, from this direction. Maybe if I hold it up, you'll get this aspect of the size of this. The layout's 30 feet long. So trust me, that's a lot of ballast. But uh, it's pretty good because I got enough. And uh, there you go. And then I got my Martin Wahlberg sheets from Scenic Express to try and break up the yard a little bit with trees from Bob at Long Shadows. And I really like the combination of the ballast I'm doing, the earth, the, uh, yeah, what do you call that, earth and soil from Scenic Express, and then the trees. And the reason I got the trees there is when I didn't have that there, it was just one big, looked like a sheet of plywood with a bunch of track on it which it really is, but I wanted to break that up a little. And I also did this Martin Wahlberg, you know, just cut them in strips, and I'll show you guys in a minute. Cut them in strips, glued them down, then I hit them with earth, with Lincecenix earth. And it gives you a little bit of a breakup. So it's not looking all like track. Oh man, look at that. Come on now. Take it easy on us, Handy. Woo! Let me pause this for a sec. So these are the two guys that have been mixing together 50 50. I think you can see that. It's, uh, from Scenic Express on the internet and you get on their site and naturally you can see it ballast it's a number 50 light gray and it's a number 40 blended ballast 40 is a little heavier 50 is a little lighter but then I mix them together 50 50 okay and you come up with that mix right there and it works out pretty good on the edges of the yard, I know I'm not a salesman for Scenic Express, but I'd like to be, because I love the stuff. That is what I'm using, medium natural soil and dirt. I put that down, and all of this stuff, I have learned over the years to give it a good soaking with some soapy water. I go up in the kitchen and steal my wife's Ajax, or I should say mine. I soak it down, and then I hit it with, uh, you're going to hate me, but Scenic Express glue, matte medium. Okay, let's hold that on. So that's the ballast in the soil. 
And what I got, I want to grab those sheets. Here they are. I'm having a real hard time with the light from the ceiling. Martin Wahlberg. Hold on, I'll try and pull it back. WB SEBG. SEBG, and that's from uh, on scale trains. And these are the sheets I'm using. As the light is right dead enough in the way. But if you can imagine, take them out, and I cut them in strips. Or you can put it right down. They're meant to be tough to pull off the plastic backing, but I'm using them in full de full uh, full array. I cut them out. It has like a little rubber back, and then I hit them with glue, and I sit them down. And then what I do after that, I already showed you this as I put the Woodland Scenics Earth in, and you know just to cover up the scenes between the track. And the bushes and it gives you a pretty pretty good realistic uh, look I mean come on now give me some love and I'll try to stop moving so quick but that once again is that Martin Wahlberg okay I told you what I'm using for ballast and glue that is nice as far as I'm concerned and my boy my boy from California hooked me up with another 25 trees. Right at Long Shadows. Long Shadows trees. Look them up. And then look at that. Look at how they match. Look how the trees match. The ballast matches. The ballast. Then the rough. And see those sheets? After they're all glued in, you fill in all around them, you let them dry for a day or two. And you beat them up. You know, you just come down here with like a paintbrush in your hand and you shake them all up. And they're loving life. Oh yeah, there's Conrail again. I know, it's the coal train again. I won't kill you too much. Oh. Scale trains. I also put this dust collector up there on the roof of the furniture factory. I bought that on eBay. All pre-built. The uh, guy builds them, paints them. All of the above, it looks great up there. But it's on a wicked angle. A wicked, as we say in Massachusetts. So I'm going to have to cut underneath the front legs and jack them back up. But uh, definitely doing stuff like that here, too. TV antennas. It's hard to see him on the phone. I've been up to TV antennas. Little things like that, gentlemen. Make it work. Having a hard time showing that TV antenna. Look at the uh, chimney. Strapped to the chimney. Oh, yeah. There you go. Beauty. All right, I'm rambling on, coming up on nine minutes, 10 minutes, too much. David Lee Ross says, thanks for viewing. Comment, like, subscribe. As Penn Central heads into the tunnel on the second level. With all my fallen flags on the back. And Pan Am, they're gone. CSX swollen them up. Have a great night, gentlemen, and I will see you in uh, probably another month or two. I probably head into Florida next Friday. I'll be gone. I will be gone for a month or so if all goes accordingly, but we shall see.